Well, hello everybody. It's time to try out the Supply Razor again and see just how fast I can shave with it. Can I shave as fast with this as I do with a double-edged safety razor or even a cartridge razor? Well, I've been using this for the past few days and you can't, it's very fast. I wanna show you how to do it. I wanna talk about this razor and talk about Patrick, the uh, owner, operator, designer of Supply who contacted me after my most recent video and said, I don't know why you had the trouble loading the blade in that one. I wanna send you one. I wanna check a couple out for myself and I'm gonna send you one to rectify the situation. I guarantee them it was user error on my part. I unscrewed this whole thing and probably didn't get it back in exactly, but I've had no problems since. So let's try it out. Thank you, Patrick, for uh, contacting me. And as soon as uh, you send me whatever you're gonna send me, you know, I'll give, I'll give one or two of these away. I don't know how many I'll have, but I'm gonna give one of these away. Maybe even this one I'm using right now. It's a great razor. Let's shave with it and see how fast we can go. Okay, so with these kind of videos, the shaving soap doesn't matter. The brush doesn't matter. You could use a can of whatever you want. It's the razor we're going to talk about. So let's lather up and get this thing going. This is the Heritage Hill John Paul Jones shaving soap. Very good company made here in the U.S. of A. And uh, as I said, this supply razor was designed in Texas. It's a small business, actually, out of Fort Worth. So uh, they contacted me, and, and he was very... Patrick was like, oh, man, I have no idea why that happened. Maybe you got a defective unit. I guarantee it was my own fault. And I told him that in the email. <laughs> and I said, but if you want to send me another one, that's totally fine. Now, I will be honest with, it, with, with this razor as I am with any razor that's sent to me free or otherwise. I bought this one. So I paid the 49 bucks to get this one just because, you know, I wanted to try it out. And uh, so he understands that I will be totally honest. And I also kind of wanted to get familiar with this razor. I didn't want to be the guy that somebody's putting their blood, sweat, and tears into a design project and a construction and a selling and a marketing and all that stuff just for a dope like me to come on and go, like, no, it wasn't very good. It was very good. And it's been these past three or four days that I've been using it, it's been very good. And I finally figured out the exact angle. And I want to show you how to tell you're doing it right. Okay, start a timer. We got two minutes, 34 seconds. Well, don't start the timer yet. Let me show you something. So this thing you got to put directly against your face, pretty much like this. And you can tell that you got the right angle because when you do this, it leaves behind no little lines. If you don't have it right, if you got it too much of an angle, it'll leave lines or just a little bit of shaving cream. So you need to flatten it out a little bit more. See that? Okay, that doesn't count. Let's start over with that little cheek. Let's go with the quick, quick shaving. And we'll talk a little bit more about this razor and what Patrick told me in his email about their ideas for a single edge razor like this. Okay, here we go. Ready? 319, 320, go. So single edge razors, as you all well know, are, can be very, very good, easy to use, a good gateway to shaving with like a double-edged safety razor to get away from cartridge razors. And that's what Patrick said that he had wanted to do when he first got his hands on a pay it forward single edge razor that was given to him by a fellow member of the Badger and Blade Shaving Forum. And if you've never been to the Badger and Blade Shaving Forum, you should go check it out because there's lots of good people on there, lots of good information, and a lot of people like to pay it forward. I did get a nick right there. So they do advertise a lot, a nick stop technology. Now, no, no razor is perfectly nick proof. And uh, anyone that thinks you're not gonna get nicked with a razor, especially if you're going fast like I am, I am right now, you're wrong. No razor is nick proof. No, they can be more or less aggressive, Or not, you can have some that nick you all the time, like my 1960 Gillette, you know, Grandpa Grungy. He nicks me all the damn time. Still love him. All right, there's the first pass. Let's keep going. So, Patrick from Supply got his hands on an injector razor a few years ago. And he said this would be 
the perfect sort of razor to kind of reintroduce because they've been around forever. Schick has had an injector razor for I don't even know how long. And you can still buy, these are not proprietary blades. That was something else that I talked about in my video. It's like, I don't like razors that use proprietary blades. These are not proprietary. You can buy these, they, they sell Schick versions, they sell Feather, they sell all kinds. They're not as easy to find. Let's keep shaving, shall we? The, see that little nick, got a nick there and a nick there. It's because I'm going fast and I'm talking. See how there's no lines across my face, like from the guard itself? That's how you know you got the angle right and you're cutting some whiskers. So these are not proprietary blades. They are available. They're not as easy to find as double-edged safety razor blades, which for my other single-edge razor, you just snap in two and get two blades for the price of one. So I'm not a huge fan of having to buy a different kind of blade, but if you don't care, well then, there you go. Now I did have a concern with this razor that the head was kind of thick and me getting like underneath my nostril there. <laughs> I was trying, I've always got to get these little, these little whiskers here that bother me. And I've gone over my lip twice now and I've gotten pretty much all those things. And if I need to, I just go a little sideways, just like I would with any other razor. Go sideways with this one. See how I left little lines right there? That's because I didn't have the angle right. That's how you know you need to get a little, pitch it a little bit, a little bit differently. And my chin is always a problem. Or my lack of chin, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I wish I had one of those razor sharp jaws like you see guys with, but you know, everybody's got their own cross to bear. Their own burdens in life. But anyway. So as my confidence with this razor has gone up, my admiration for it has also gone up. Like I said, I don't want to be one of those, you know, dismissive guys on the internet that just takes a dump all over somebody's hard work just because they shaved with it once and didn't get it right, you know? I wanted to give it a fair shake, but still be very honest. I really nicked myself, didn't I, with that one? No razor is completely nick proof, nor is it foolproof. So anyway, I don't know what exactly what Patrick is going to send me. Maybe another version like this, maybe a pro version, but this one costs 49 bucks. I think the pro is like 99 bucks. I don't know. So it's too rich for my blood, but if he decides he wants to send it to me, I'll be happy to try it out and, uh, you know, give it away, pay it forward. So, in this video, down below, I want you to say, I, I want to win the Supply Razor. Now, I don't have it in hand yet, and I may just give you this one, but leave a comment down below, and then at some point in the near future, we'll do a giveaway, we'll do a drawing. How's that sound? Because I do like once you get used to using this razor, I think it's a perfect gateway for cartridge razors, cartridge razor users. They want to try something different, but they, for some reason or other, don't want to use a safety razor. A double-edged safety razor is what I mean. You can go pretty quick with this thing. You can go against the grain, cross the grain, up. The learning curve is shallow, is what I'm trying to tell you on this thing. All right. There, three passes, time, 9.16. What time did I start? I was chatting, I was chatting. Was it five, six minutes? I don't know. Somebody tell me and put it down below. Now I'm going to wash my face off, as I always do, and then feel for the problem areas. Nice smooth up here. I could do this part right here. This part is always got whiskers. This is pretty good. And this, you hear that? I'm going to go against the grain on that one. I'm not going to put any more shaving. Don't count this in the, in the shaving time, or do. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's go against the grain. Don't do this if you have sensitive skin. 
But if you're a tough old cob like I'm, I, I am, then go right ahead. All right, let's see here. Yeah, if you get that angle right, you can hear the blade. This is not an aggressive razor. I don't have any razor burn after using this, and I've shaved pretty quickly with this thing. I'm holding down my little nick right here so it doesn't bleed. I've shaved pretty quick with this thing, and this is the first time I really kind of, of course, when I'm filming now, of course, is when I... But I want to show you the actual use, actual use case, like the very first time I opened it up and tried to load the, you know, this, I still love doing this, actually, it's kind of fun. Sticking that in there like that, and then pushing the blade out. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Let's see what happens. Let's try it. Here we go. So the old blade is sitting right there. Push this, and it pushes it out the other side, and then you put it in the little slot there to dispose of it. Okay. Get that right in there. Let's see. Did we get in there? Here we go. See? Boop. Pull that out. You're ready to go. All right. So that's it, folks. The Supply Razor Single Edge. Second try. I'm trying to stop the bleeding there. It's got a lot of potential. It's a good razor. 49 bucks, and you want to try something new? You're tired of your cartridge razors? Try this one out. Now, when, when Patrick sends me the new one, I will try it out. And if it's a pro model, I'll try it out. And then I'll give it away. So leave a message down below. Leave a comment saying, I want to win that razor. And then at some point in the near future, I'll do a giveaway. And uh, I'll give this away. I'll clean it up for you. It's a little grungy. All my razors turn a little grungy when I use them three, four, five times. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So the Supply Single Edge Razor. It's not my favorite single edge razor, but it's very good. And it, may, it might just be yours. I don't know. Give it a try. Thanks again, Patrick, for contacting me. I hope I gave your razor a fair shake. And uh, yeah, that's my honest opinion. Now I'm going to use a little alum to stop any nicks on my face. Put that little minor one there. And that's all she wrote, folks. Put some aftershave on. And we're done. But you've seen me do that before, so put some aftershave on after you uh, shave, folks. <laughs> That's why I call it aftershave. I, I, I like to use mid-shave. I like to use, well, there is pre-shave, of course. I like to use um, during shave. Is that a thing? I don't know. Anyway, you know what it looks like. Put the alum on, wash it off, tighten your skin up, put some nice, uh, I don't know, something like this, or my favorite, cremo. But you guys know the routine. So that's it. Okay. We'll have a whole new razor to look at. I still haven't opened up some stuff. I got a couple of things I haven't told you about that we got to look at and try. And so I'm going to try that coming up soon. So put a message down below saying you want to win this razor or one very much like it. I don't know if it will be this exact one or maybe this exact one. I don't know. Do you want my grunge all over it? Let me know. If you win and you want the grunge, I'll leave the grunge. Anyway, have a great weekend, everybody. And I'll talk to you soon.